Hey good people, today's video is all about food prep and storage. I am going to share with you how I prep some of the many dishes that we love to eat and how I prepare them and store them for later. You can find all of the recipes that I'm making linked in the description box below. So let's get started. I started prepping the night before by soaking my staple items in spring water. The step is optional, but soaking the Brazil nuts removes the tannins and improves digestion. It also helps remove the earthy taste from the wild rice and it softens the chickpeas and spelt, reducing the overall cooking time. Ensure the spring water covers your foods by an inch or so. I like to give them a quick stir to ensure the water is evenly distributed and add more spring water as it soaks in as needed. Here are some of the items I'll be using, including some cooking and storage tools. I'm making a lot today for this video, but making extra whenever you cook can also save you some time. Here's a peek at everything so you can see the results of soaking. Most of the water was absorbed, causing the foods to expand, so it should only take about an hour or so for everything to cook. I'm straining each item, thoroughly rinsing with spring water, and then adding them to a pot with clean spring water to cook. Don't forget to save the water from your cooked chickpeas. This is called aquafaba, which is a great substitute for eggs. A teaspoon of salt in each of these, along with a quick stir, and now I'll allow them to cook. Here I'm prepping about 16 ounces of the kamut berries for the patties, and I'll grind them down to a fine texture. It cooks just like grits or cream of wheat. I prepped the veggies while it cooked and dished out a few servings before mixing up the rest for the patties. There are already video tutorials linked on how all of these recipes can be prepared, but this one is a favorite. Store in glass or silicone containers when possible, otherwise use what you have. Here I'm using parchment paper to create layers. This helps me to easily peel away some of the frozen patties as needed. I made 20 patties and now they're ready for the freezer. Time for the tomato sauce. I used about 40 whole plum tomatoes and blended them until smooth. I added the spices and allowed it to simmer while repeating this process for my alkaline electric ketchup and barbecue sauce. That's what I need for the sloppy joe and mushroom meatloaves. So right now I am playing musical pots and pans. My tomato sauce is looking pretty good. I've got water bo boiling to make some spelt pasta. We get this from Target and the barbecue sauce and the ketchup is looking pretty good. And I have prepped my peppers. Six of them will be going in the oven and about seven of them will be going in the freezer. And while I'm waiting, I'm continuing to chop up everything that I need. I'm about to get ready and put together the filling for the peppers. Okay, so I just took my one pound of soaked Brazil nuts and made up my Brazil nut cheese. I'm setting aside three cups for the stuffed pepper recipe that I'm going to be doing. Again, I'm making two batches of that. This is what I have left. I'm gonna go ahead and just store this in the fridge. My wild rice is done. This is a whole bag's worth. I have four cups in here that I'm setting aside for my stuffed green peppers. I will be putting these in the freezer and putting this aside for later. So this is what I have left after using four cups of the spelt for the sloppy joe. And these will be going into the freezer for later. This is what I have for the sloppy joe. I have two jars full. One jar is more than enough for my family of six. This just has the alkaline barbecue sauce, the spelt, and the garbanzo beans that I ground up in the food processor. Okay, so my pasta is ready. I chopped up some of the vegetables that I already had left over and added in some Zucchini, summer squash, red peppers. The seasonings are on there. I'm about to add the Brazil nut cheese. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that together and put it in the pan to allow it to cool and then put it in the freezer. So here is my vegetable Alfredo. 
this is what 30 ounces of pasta got me. This is a 9 by 13 baking dish and the blue ones are two 8 by 8 uh, baking dishes. This is the tomato sauce that is left over after I used two cups of it for the stuffed peppers. These are just cooling here and when they're done cooling I will go ahead and put these in the freezer for later. I am putting together two mushroom meatloafs. That's the alkaline ketchup. I have my containers ready. These are both gonna go in the freezer and will be ready to go right out of the freezer into the oven. I am finally done and this is everything that I was able to make. These are for dinner. My pasta, tomato sauce, sloppy joe, spelt, wild rice, two mushroom meatloafs more stuffed peppers, kamut patties. Everything you see here is about to go into the freezer except for our peppers, and we are all set. Even though all of my chickpeas were used for the mushroom meatloaves and sloppy joe recipes, you can definitely make an extra bag to store those too. I encourage you to try some of these tips and tailor them for yourself and your family to help make this alkaline vegan lifestyle go smoother. Prepping ahead always means you have something healthy on hand. I hope that was super helpful and if it was don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like comment and subscribe for the next video thanks so much for watching bye <laughs> I should do that again. my good old flavorless cereal with water <laughs> struggle cereal you know when you're <laughs>